Sunflower by Vampire Weekend is a very involved song to play. As of making this tutorial, there are no videos of them playing it for me to watch, so I don't know precisely how they're playing it on the fretboard. It could be done a variety of ways. I'm choosing this way uh, that I'm about to show you because it seems to be the easiest in terms of finger work to get the job done. Um, the notes that I'll be showing you are absolutely accurate, but once video surfaces of Vampire Weekend playing this, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they're at a different place of the neck than how I'm doing this. This guitar happens to be detuned a half step already, and I am now capoed on the ninth fret. If you don't want to detune your guitar, then just capo on the tenth fret and do everything that I'm telling you just capoed on the tenth fret. I'll be speaking as though the capo here is the nut, so I'll be referring to third fret right here. The opening riff is going to be uh, second finger on the sixth string, third fret, open fifth string, first finger to the fifth string, second fret, second finger to the fifth string, third fret, and then open fourth string. That's the first run of notes. And right there, you probably want to stop and just get that feel because the tempo of the song is pretty quick. The second part of this opening riff is the exact same motion, just down one set of strings. It's going to start on the fifth string, third fret, go to the open fourth string, first finger to the fourth string, second fret, and then open third string. Oh, I left out uh, fourth string, third fret. So fifth string, third fret, open fourth string, fourth string, second fret, fourth string, third fret, open third string. So you've got. And then. The way that you're going to do that is you'll start on the fourth string third fret with your second finger and alternate between your second finger on the third fret to first finger on the second fret. Then you're going to open up the fourth string and you'll go to the fifth string third fret with your second finger and then with your first finger down to the fifth string second fret and then you'll come back to the open fourth string and then back to fifth string third, fifth string second open 5th string, 5th string 3rd, 5th string 2nd, 5th string open, 6th string 3rd. And that's coming together slowly, the back half of this opening riff. So the first part, the second part, the third part, and then it repeats. The next part of this riff is going to begin on the fourth string third fret with your second finger, then open third string, first finger to the third string second fret, second finger to the third string third fret, pinky finger to the third string fifth fret, and then first finger to the second string second fret, ring finger, uh, second string third fret, ring finger to the second string fifth fret, pinky finger to the second string sixth fret, first finger to the first string third fret, pinky finger to the uh, first string sixth fret, ring finger to the first string fifth fret, pinky finger to the second string sixth fret, first finger to the first string third fret. And that's coming together like The next part of this opening riff walks down from the first string third fret to. 
So the way that you're doing that is first fingers on the first string third fret, pinky finger to the second string sixth fret, ring finger to the second string fifth fret, first finger to the second string third fret, ring finger to the third string fifth fret. So we've got And then you'll go with your pinky finger to the second string sixth fret, ring finger to the second string fifth fret, first finger to the second string third fret, ring finger to the fourth string, I'm sorry, third string fifth fret, first finger to the third string third fret. So we've got. So now you'll bar across the third fret of strings three and two, catch the second string on the third fret, and you'll go ring finger to the third string fifth fret, first finger to the third string third fret, and that's one little chunk. And then you'll come back ring finger to the third string fifth fret, first finger to the third string third fret, and then first finger down to the third string second fret. So we've got and then second finger to the third string third fret, first finger to the third string second fret, open third string, first finger to the fourth string third fret, ring finger to the fourth string fifth fret. And that whole thing is coming together walking down as before repeating again the last time through the intro on the alternating Instead of resolving all the way back down into another round of the riff, it just cuts off and then it goes to chords. The way that you make that chord is I'm making an F shape and sliding it up two frets. So my ring finger is on the fourth string fifth fret, my second finger is on the third string fourth fret, my first finger is barring strings two and three on the third fret. I hit that and then I leave my first finger bar on strings uh, one and two on the third fret. I strike strings one and two and then I hammer on with my ring finger to the fifth fret and then I pull it off. And that's how you get that tone. And then it jumps down to the F chord. So take your shape and just lower it now to uh, strings. And this time, instead of hammer-ons, it alternates uh, between strings one and two that you've got fretted on the first fret, and then that repeats. Whenever we get to the chorus, the chords are going to change a little bit. You will fret the fourth string on the second fret with your second finger and strike from the fourth string down leave everything that you're not fretting open. So four string fretted, three open, two open, one opened. And then it goes to this chord. So put your ring finger down on the fourth string third fret. Your second finger is going to be on the third string second fret. Your pinky finger is going to be on the second string third fret. And your first finger will be on the first string first fret and just strum strings four through one. And it's kind of a jazzy feeling strum of down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, that sort of feel. And then that repeats. After the last verse, it goes back into the main riff again and does it very slowly. Uh, and I would actually suggest going to the back end of the song, the recorded song, and playing, a, uh, playing along first with that very slow version of the riff so that you can get it under your fingers and then backtrack to the beginning of the song and try to play it at speed. 
those are the chords and the movements to Sunflower by Vampire Weekend. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.